here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk Radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk Radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. I know that it sounds kind of like you're making this up, but I mean, nobody would do this, right? But the Biden administration has selected as their nominee to head the ATF, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, the, the federal agency that regulates the firearms industry, a fellow who has called for the confiscation of the most popular firearms in America, a fellow who has said that people should be arrested when they fail a background check on a, on a gun to prevent future crimes. It's the pre-crime idea. A fellow who had an interesting background and involvement in the mass murders. It's the only thing to call it at Waco. Um, David Chipman is the man's name, the former ATF employee. Uh, on Thursday, a couple of days ago, three days ago, the Senate Judiciary Committee advanced David Chipman going to the Senate floor. The vote was 10 to 10 strictly on party lines. The vote on the Senate floor will be almost entirely on party lines. I mean, and we know we're at 50-50 in the Senate, Democrats and Republicans. And if it's a tie, Kamala Harris gets to break the tie. And of course she will put the gun banning David Chipman in charge of the ATF. That vote probably will come second or third week of July. You still have time. Contact your senators. They, I know you're thinking, well, they already know. Or I know where they are. Yeah, I get that. But they need to hear from you. We need to keep it up all the time. Constant drumbeat. Trust me. The Bloomberg Finance moms and every town groups are beating that drum all the time. And we have to do the same. We have to call, you have to call your senators. And yeah, I know, if you've got Democratic senators, you may say it's a waste of time, except, except, if you live in West Virginia, because Joe Manchin may be the key to this, once again. Joe Manchin may decide to break with the Democrats on this, and if he does, then we keep Chipman from devastating gun rights, from devastating the firearms industry. He would like to do away with the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act, the law that prevents these nuisance lawsuits against gun companies and gun stores just had Academy Sports judge threw out the uh, suit against Academy Sports for the shooting in Sulphur Springs, Texas, where, remember Stephen Williford used his AR-15 to stop the mass murder? But families of the victims have sued Academy Sports for selling this gun to a fellow who shouldn't have passed a background check, but they, they ran the background check. They did the next check. It wasn't their fault that the database wasn't accurate. The judge threw it out and said, no, you can't sue them for that. They didn't do anything illegal. They didn't do anything wrong. But that's what David Chipman wants. He wants to get rid of that law so that gun companies can be sued out of existence. And trust me, they would be. Which is, I mean, it doesn't take a lot to connect the dots. That's how you get rid of gun making in America. You make it impossible for them to get insurance. You make it possible for anybody affected by crime to sue gun companies and say, you should have done more. And get, go, you know, go jury shopping, go court shopping, judge shopping. Get somebody to level a trillion dollar judgment against them. They all close their doors overnight. Done. Nobody's making guns anymore. David Chipman. Now it's pretty much up to us. We're, we're What's left in this deal is to contact each of us to contact our senators. Wouldn't hurt, no matter where you live, to contact Joe Manchin's office and just say, you know, if you would kindly, Mr. Senator, would you vote against David Chipman for this? Again, this vote's probably going to be taking place the second or third week of July. 